All right, we should be live. It is Tuesday, May 9th, 5.49 p.m. and about 16 degrees Celsius. And I'm here All at right, Victoria live. Terrace. Tuesday, May 9th, and Sunjib is here, Alfred is here, Igor is here. Welcome to a Tuesday evening live stream. Wesley is here, Mulder, I like to walk. Wilford says, Happy trails, Jess. Adam C is here. Zach McNally's here. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm here. I've actually got the phone on the ground. I'm going to pick it up in a second. Hello from Seattle. Jeanette Morales is here. Matthew B is here. Michael Nguyen. Josh says, good weather to be out. Yeah, I did not uh, do any recording yesterday. I was kind of out doing a bunch of things. So today I just made a video on a viewer suggestion and that brought me out to like this neck of the woods. And way off in the distance there is the Stridesland skyline. Amy Williams here, Brad Palmer, Marie Palmer, Jelly Bean, Stephen Collins. Well, the gang's mostly all here. Thanks for tuning in. But there's the Stridesland skyline. your host extraordinaire, the dumbass himself. And I just kind of walked up to this spot. I was recording a video that had me walking along Lawrence here. I wanted to get away from downtown and midtown for a video. I feel like I've been a little heavy on those areas since I came back. And I was getting the hunger shakes. So I popped into that Burger King straight ahead. I just had myself a king meal, two burgers, fries, and a drink, and it was like $6 and something. And I thought, I've got to go back home. I've got my streaming gear. Let's fire up a stream. But there is uh, Young and Eglinton off in the distance. So we are going to be heading west. And then maybe I'll be heading down uh, Don Mills. Action Kid says, Don Mills, I was here only to transfer to an Uber <laughs> to Unionville. Aren't you in Hawaii, man? There's no way you don't have better things to be doing than watching some Toronto boob tuber. But what we're going to do is we're going to head up to Victoria Park Road. Arigato, 200 Japanese yen super chat. Thank you very much. So this is gonna be a stream of strodes. No uh, big city urban streaming today. And I may have a big surprise coming up in a few days on the channel. I don't know when Anything will hit the channel, or even if it will, it's not guaranteed. But I've got something very, very different in mind in the coming days. And no, it does not really involve Toronto. There's a Toys R Us in Victoria Ter Terrace. So this is Victoria Park Avenue. This is all the city of Toronto, of course, but on that side of the street, which is to the east, is Wexford. <laughs> Johnny Strodes. And that is also the area known as Scarborough, the former borough of Scarborough. Scarborough. And I am pretty sure in a prior stream, I once went south down Victoria Park here, down to Eglinton. But what we're going to do is make a right and we're going to walk over towards the shops at Don Mills. I could either go south down Don Mills or south down Leslie. I think Don Mills might be the better choice. It's always good to get out and see different parts of town. This is definitely more of 
a suburban sprawling area. But there's the intersection of Victoria Park and Lawrence Avenue East. Hertage in the house, Michelle in the house. Big hug for Yogi, courtesy of Michelle. And there's a 24 Victoria Park Avenue South bus. But we're gonna be going this way. And I just recorded a walk that was off in this direction. I hope you're all enjoying the weather and having an awesome Tuesday. I was just checking the channel stats while I was munching on my BK. And we are at 89,870 subscribers. And hi to those just joining in. So we are 30 away from 89,900. And 130 away from 9,000. And 1,130 away from 100,000. There's a garden center. So if all goes to plan, I might not be able to do an e-bike stream this week, but if all goes to plan, there should be a very different stream or two coming up. So click that subscribe button, hit the bell, click the alert. You might not want to miss out. Mike Landry, 330 through Super Chat. Mike, beaming that 330 in all the way from the East Coast. Thank you, Mr. Landry. As I walk west along the north side of Lawrence Avenue, and how nice is this? It is 5.56 p.m., and look how high the sun is. We are going to be blessed with sunlight for this one. Sanjay and Kingston in the house. There's the place that served me up my meal. Not really sure if I had it my way there, but I had whatever they served me up. Get a little Burger King. BHG in the house, Marge in the house. I think I saw Vivian Johnson pop in, our CEO and moderator extraordinaire. So we are walking towards the sun, and these are the CP rail tracks we're going to head under pretty soon. There's a site Americans might not see too much a big old Toys R Us. Those are kind of extinct down south. I think there might be a few concept stores kicking around, but that's about it. Someone said it's high humidity. Yeah, my uh, apartment humidity was at like 46% today. It's definitely high. So, We're gonna go this way for a while and then I'm gonna head south and we're gonna go that way for a while. Smitty says nice big sidewalks here. How about nice big strody ass roads? But the Lawrence bus seems to be fairly regular. When I was waiting, I took the 54B bus from Eglinton. And the bus I was waiting for was delayed. They're supposed to come every six or seven minutes and I ended up taking about 15 and the bus was rammed. All right, let's... Trucking in, there's 
one last look into the plaza. There's the Canadian Bible Society. What's that all about? And a 54B Lawrence bus. That one's pretty, pretty crammed. The one I was on was like full of high school students. Some kids making a very long ass trek. So in my last live stream, I walked by the old North Toronto rail station, which is now the Summerhill LCBO. And this rail line up ahead, if I'm not mistaken, is the rail line that used to serve that, or rather that station used to serve this rail line. So that kind of goes southwest. But we've got some colorful art. Maybe we'll flip the wide angle on. Hippo in the house. What is your favorite transit system in Ontario? Can I plead the fifth? The Canadian Bible Society translates the Bible into different languages. Do you think that's something that they'd be done with by now. Who set this here? I don't think I'm gonna make it all the way to Young and Eglinton, way off in the distance there, but that's the direction we're kind of walking in. Do they say who the artist is? I don't know, I'm sure their name or signature is on that art. I should do a better job at paying attention. And I think we found the headquarters of Pizza Nova. And I think I have only ever streamed once. I've been asking. Jack Lindsay, 199. Hey, Johnny, have you ever been up to Whitby? Jack, I have. Not with my camera, though. I should probably hop on a go train and head up to Whitby. says go transit I'll wait until their service improvements have been implemented it's too much of a hub and spoke system right now it's not very good for connecting the suburbs to one another everything kind of feeds into Union and it's very rush hour centric so there's a lot of trains parked throughout the day flowers as I'm here at your back. <laughs> oh no, that looks like their head offices, Mr. Hippo. I'm gonna wave to that driver. We're backing up. And there are an awful lot of Korean churches here. So Myung Wong Hwa. So that should be a view to the south.
Eplin is here. Devin Sullivan dropping a hello to Mike Landry. We're at 240 some odd viewers already. 15 minutes into a stream seemingly in the middle of nowhere. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm going to try to get out and make some content tomorrow. I'm also toying with the idea of doing a morning live stream instead of a video just to catch up. Toronto Tech and Transit is here. Good evening to you, Henry. Henry does an awesome job covering the city and often goes live. Thank you, Henry for dropping in. Oh, my watch is beeping at me. Something's going on. Hey, we're at 89,872 subscribers. Looks like I'm on the wrong side of the street. This side, <laughs> we've got Bupkis. Over there, we've got a little bit more than that. Oh well. It's amazing just how far between crossings there are on streets like this. like nearly a good kilometer between crossings. No, I won't chide riders for being on the sidewalk in these parts, even though it's technically illegal. There's barely anyone on the sidewalks. And we've got this giant super highway strode right there. So we're going to be crossing the Don Valley Parkway, actually, and heading over towards the shops at Don Mills. I wonder if that place is busy tonight. I have not been there in about two or three years. Jeanette says, going to drive home. Have a great night. Thank you, Jeanette. Thanks for dropping in. Sean Amir says, cars first in this hood. Clearly, but there's not much here to lure a pedestrian in anyways. What's my step count at today? Ooh, we are not even at 10,000 yet. Josh B donated 360 through Super Chat. Josh B, thank you so much. Thank you for the super and the support, Josh. Ricardo likes North York walks. We're gonna have to head up north at some point in the coming weeks. Maybe I'll do like a Steels Avenue live stream at some point. All right, so I'm not going to drop any clues, but I'm, well, I guess I'm doing that now. But the walk I recorded is right around this neighborhood.
I'm thinking, which side of the street do I want to be on here? We're eventually going to cross over the Don Valley Parkway. I think it might be better looking to the south when I get over there. I think that might be the move. Let's cross here, try not to get turned into road meat. And then cross again. She says so many cars here. Well, it's rush hour. There's a 54B. That's the bus I took all the way from Eglinton. It took about 40 some odd minutes from there to here. And we are going to cross the Don Valley Parkway. Christian Hansen says, 240 watching, 86 likes. Thanks for the update. Now, these streams won't quite pull in the same amount of views as, say, a downtown or other built-up area stream, but I like getting out and seeing the city. It's been a while since I've done this sort of thing. Even if there's a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Oh, my gimbal. Just decided to say, screw you. There we go. Will Toronto ever be affordable again? Um, we would basically need to outright ban Airbnb and increase the housing supply. That's the only chance we have at that. So increase the density of our low density neighborhoods. And believe it or not, keep building towers. Hi, I'm German, you love Toronto, greetings. Even then, that's not a guarantee, but I think that would be the best chance of that happening. So you are unlikely to see too many pedestrians around here. Do people often recognize me? Yeah, I would say a few times a day. People like, I was at a diner this morning and there was a couple of people just staring at me. I was like, what? Do I have like shit on my face? What's going on here? So that's possible. But usually about one or two people a day say hi to me and I'm sure more people recognize me and don't say anything. Nash place is Johnny from there. So there's like a conservation area coming up, but we're gonna head over the DVP. The only other time I live streamed this area, I was making my way back on an e-bike. And it was night. Nice. Stuart MC, 499 pounds, super chat. Thank you, Stuart MC. for the 499 sewer. Very much appreciated. And here comes the conservation area on the left. The Charles Soriel conservation area.
I imagine there's a way for pedestrians to connect to like the East Dawn Trail. That no exit is probably just for cars. I don't know. Davy says this park area below the highway is quite natural and lovely. Walked there several times. It is. And the Wilkett Creek Park, which is further to the west of Erie, sorry, further to the west of Erie, is also quite nice. I've made a number of videos going through Wilkett Creek. There's the East Don. Korean church. Straight ahead. Do you know Bill Stoppard? No? I have no idea who that is. Thank you, Stuart, all the way from Scotland. So here's where Lawrence is less of a strode and more of a road. There's not many on-off points, and traffic is moving through pretty fast. Definitely got to be careful <laughs> crossing the street here. And what's traffic going to be like on the DVP? over the Non Valley Parkway in a moment. There it is. So if you've ever seen that rainbow tunnel on the East On Trail, which you can see from the Don Valley Parkway, that is actually just south of here. It's not too far. And thank you to our new subscriber. Thank you very much for subbing to this Strodaganza channel. I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe she's saying this is my mom's Scottish. She was born in Scotland, but I would say she sounds as Canadian as anyone. Behold, the Don Valley parking lot. And that is a view to the south. And a view to the north. Chris Back is here, says Johnny, be careful. Thank you. Trying to. You don't have to be careful crossing up here. <coughs> Sorry about that. I 
there's a car. I think they could do a better job protecting pedestrians here. Hello, Ann. I love the smell of freshly cut grass clippings. There's an old railway right through here. Look at that. And it says, looks like a scary walk today. I just wanted to get up and out of the usual spots. Looks like Ken went to the hammer today. to Don Mills. We might detour a bit through the shops at Don Mills and then we'll head south there. There's going to be a lot of fall content once all the leaves start changing. Tech and Transit, $22, courtesy of the nicest guy in Toronto, Henry. Thank you. Henry, thank you for your support. It looks like you had some delicious Thai food the other day. Thank you very much, Henry. Go check out the Toronto Tech and Transit channel. Looks like the sidewalk's going to be a bit more buffered coming up. There's Bell Unlimited Mental Health Benefits for Employees. I think after their Let's Talk campaigns got ridiculed, was probably the result of a board meeting. Does Henry take days off? I don't know. <laughs> Not only is he like the nicest guy, he's like the hardest working of us Toronto tubers. Here's something that should never, ever, ever exist. A residential street with no sidewalks. It looks nice. Nice lots, nice homes. But where are you supposed to walk?
Mr. Hippo says, time for dinner, they'll be back. So this street coming up is called the Donway East. So we're slowly heading back in towards civilization. There's a 54A bus. And if you couldn't tell, this is a well, if you're familiar with the channel, you're probably aware that what I'm actually doing is I came up to this area and I made a video and now I'm walking in the direction of home. There's no chance I'm going to get there. But I am going to cover a pretty good ground and then I'll just hop on a bus. Is this a GoPro? No, it's an iPhone 12. Currently with 71% battery left. a very pretty looking tree. It looks like there's another Korean church just to the left here. Youngsung Church. There you go, people. No boyfriend, no problem. 400,000 Canadians sleep with us. I don't know how I feel about that ad. Rash Banigan asking how the step count is doing. We are at pretty low step count for today. In Houston, they actually have no sidewalks and residential areas of streets. Houston is an oddball. They don't do traditional city zoning. And if you look at Houston from like a Google satellite image, it's kind of depressing for the biggest city in the state of Texas. There are some positive things, but I think you'll find a whole host of YouTube videos kind of ripping into it. Right, this is Don Mills Road. I'm gonna take a little detour here through the shops at Don Mills, I think. Then we'll come back to Don Mills Road and I'll head south. I'm gonna head south down to Eglinton. says 12k is considered a low step count. <laughs> I try to hit about 20 every day, although since I got back from my trip, admittedly I've been slacking a fair bit. Shall you be into the Science Center? Maybe you're down around there. I'm not sure where We'll finish up exactly. There's the shops at Don Mills. We'll take a walk through there. Lisa Palmer enjoying some edibles. The only Starbucks reserve roastery is there. Maybe we'll see it. This is having a margarita. Oh, 
So last night I went to the keg here at Young and Eglinton. I had a 12 ounce sirloin steak. Or was it the eight? I don't know. Either way, it was pretty damn good. So I'm gonna go left here. We're not gonna to tour all of the shops at Don Mills. I think I did a video through here like two or three years ago on Black Friday, and that was during the pandemic. When barely anything was going on. Stephen Collins has become a member. Thank you, Stephen Collins. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. So there's, I think, a bigger entrance straight ahead, but we're going to go left here. This is a very American-esque outdoor shopping center, kind of like what you'd find in Las Vegas in places. Looks like there's a restaurant. Oh, and I forgot they blast music through here. We might not spend too much time here. There's a vacant restaurant, another vacant spot over there. And Eddie Bauer. So there's a map of it. Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Now, I'm not too fond of places like this. It's like what city nerd would call fake urbanism. Eddie Bauer, sleep country. Marge says, come on people, hit the like button. <laughs> I wanna get away from this music that's playing. They're destructive. Can you guys hear the music? Let me know if you can hear it. I'm just gonna mute it for a sec just to It was kind of loud over there. Henry, I haven't seen that Starbucks roastery. I'm going to make a left up here. Brooks Brothers. There's an Aroma Cafe over there. Spec Savers. Frank and Oak. The Good Sun Restaurant. All right, let's go through here. I gotta mute it again for a sec, guys. Sorry. Sorry guys, gonna fix that in a sec. I was running away from that music they're playing. There's the Starbucks Henry was talking about. 
It's got that R on it. So a special Starbucks over there. We've got a Chipotle. Pico. Chick-fil-A moving in. Jack Astor's. Ernie K, $13.99. Happy Tuesday, Ernie K. Thank you. Thank you for the $13.99, Ernie. Much, much appreciated. Let's let these cars figure it out. And there is a South Street Burger Company, which used to be owned by New York Fries, but I think they sold off their interest in it. Now it's run by someone else. Anyways, yeah, unfortunately that place is just a mine pit of music, but thank you again, Ernie K, for your support. And now we hit Don Mills Road. I'm gonna walk from here south. John O'Meara and Mrs. Nando's. That makes two of us. Nando's was excellent. There's still a Nando's on Bay Street, just north of College, but the Nando's on Queen West is gone. The Nando's on Danforth is gone. From Strode to Strode, this is heading south down the west side of Don Mills Road. There's a lot of big condos moving in. And the arena, hockey registration. Apple is trying to get me to agree to new iCloud terms and conditions. I just have to nope out of that notification. That was rather intrusive. He says, I think in the early 90s, you almost bought a condo near here, a two bed for 129K. I remember in like 2004, 2005, I got my first full-time job and one of my coworkers bought a condo downtown Toronto brand new for like 189. even making that much and he got approved for a mortgage because you know 189 is not that much good luck getting that these days I wonder if he still has the place I've never really paid attention to what's on the stretch of Don Mills. So my guess as to what's coming up will be as good as yours. Vertez is looking forward to seeing the new Transformers movies. This street here is the Donway West. Looks like a sidewalk on this street. It really ramps up there. That's gonna be fun. So I'm guessing this street loops around and becomes the Donway East. It just kind of curls over there and heads back up to Lawrence Avenue.
Raj Brannigan says, what are the odds Johnny's going to Japan? Pretty dang good. I'd love to open up the Benning as to the next city I, I visit, though. I don't want to reveal too much just yet, but I may or may not have plane tickets already. But we are well above the street here. There's the look north up Don Mills. Charlie, Charlie is leading his best dog life. Charlie actually had a tick and his owners were quite concerned and were all ready to take him to the vet and then the tick fell off. So there's your update on Charlie the Woodle. I got a picture of Charlie today. He looks well. A little bit sad, probably misses me. Japan is expensive. Yeah, it's not cheap. You might have even heard that from me. <laughs> so these homes here are back right on to Don Mills. That might be a bit noisy. They don't have like a proper sound barrier or anything. Same with these apartments facing them. I wonder if they have a lower rent than the other apartments. They get a better view, I guess. I imagine it would be noisy living there, especially if you kept your window open at night. I would never know that Global Toronto Studios are on Barber Green Road just to the west of here. There's something I never would have known. So if I kept walking south of Eglinton, I'd be strolling by the Flemington Park neighborhood heading towards Thorncliffe Park. Oh, that UPS truck was moving pretty good. There's a new condo. place on the right, Barber Green Road. Laura saying hi from Mexico. Laura. Oh, Barber Green. I said Barbara. Barber Green. Oops. Oh, we've got a Mongolian grill here. The last time I went to a Mongolian grill, 
was in like Kitchener, Waterloo forever ago, like way back in the early 2000s. And there's a beer store there. Just hockey, source for sports. This was chalet. There's a 25B bus. So that Mongolian grill doesn't quite look open. Genghis Khan Mongolian grill. Maybe it's out of business. Maybe it's just opening. Some suburban style office parks over there to the left. It's called Tilly and Durables. I thought it said Tilly Edibles. <laughs> Oops. Is this car gonna pull out? It is. Oh, well, there's a giant supermarket in there, it looks like. There's a CNC Asian supermarket. There's an Asian legend restaurant in a place called Sorrento Italian Cuisine. Everyone says Mark Saunders wants to remove bike lanes on University Avenue and Young. Well, Mark Saunders is a flippin' idiot. That's all I'll say to that. We are getting close to Eglinton. drive on the left. I doubt we'll see some Crosstown LRT vehicles getting tested just based on the time of day. I'm heading straight to the Science Center. No, I don't think I'm going to get that far. Sorry about that, Anne. Sometimes with the small characters on the screen, I can misread something. Almost looks like we're on Tatooine or something. Look at all the haze blocking the sun. Saunders wants to be the new John Tory or maybe Rob Ford. 
I don't care if the mayor is left or right leaning, but there's a point where extreme is extreme. And Mark Saunders is well on the wrong side of that. But if you got one of these condo towers here, you might be in for a hell of a treat with your view. I'm gonna see if I can get closer and zoom in. But here's a downtown skyline perspective seldom seen. Blocked by some construction equipment. Have I been to Sunnybrook Park? Yeah, I've done some bike rides through there. I did some through Wilkett Creek as well. It's all connected. Let's see if I can get the camera up. Look at that. CN Tower and Financial District on the left, and then the Young Street High Rise corridor just to the right of it. And that big tower sort of to the right center of your screen is One Bloor West. We'll hang on to this view for a second. But yeah, somebody over here, whoever has a clear view over Eglinton without anything blocking their way is going to have an impressive view of the skyline. And unfortunately, it looks like Midtown is already blocked off because that would look quite impressive over there. And then North York would be just over there. So there's just too many towers here to have a perfect view of everything, unless it was high enough, but. So that's pretty cool. That area used to be Celestica. I remember that. Big office park. There's a big superstore on the left. So I think our idiotic premier wants to relocate the Ontario Science Center, which is just to the south of here. Even though Science Center Station is going in, which will serve the Crosstown LRT whenever the hell that opens. Oh, here's another view. This one's not quite as good. You can't quite pick up as much of the financial district to the left. I don't not like this office tower. I think that's kind of cool. Doing something different with the glass box. And he says, nice, finally watching you live. Thank you. So there's the LRT platform over there. Just on the left, it's above ground. And there's another entrance on the southwest corner, so I guess that'll just be kind of a tunnel that goes underneath. Or is it above ground? I think it might be below ground. Here, I'll take a look. My memory is fuzzy. But it will be incorporated into an Ontario line station, which will be elevated for the stretch. It's one of the reasons why they're saying the Ontario line might actually get built a lot sooner than the Crosstown LRT, or at least hit its targets. A lot of it is above ground and using existing infrastructure. There's a science center entrance. And 
the Flemington Park neighborhood just over there. Your favorite is still the Chester Hill Lookout. Chester Hill Lookout is cool. I think in that neck of the woods, it's impossible to beat Riverdale, actually, but Chester Hill is nice. If you go and there's not too much foliage, 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 blocking your view of everything. All right, so we are going to turn right here onto, huh. sorry guys, this is gimbal. <laughs> must have gone into my scotch. I'm gonna go right on to Eglinton here. Now we've got a view of the Midtown skyline. Yeah, so the LRT is gonna be underground in this stretch. I was mistaken. walking on some freshly opened sidewalk. And perhaps cooler than that, a bike lane on Eglinton. How amazing is this? Eat your heart out, Mark Saunders. I don't think it's officially opened yet, but it's curb separated. which is about as good as we do here in Canada. Sadly, or rather tragically, it is very inconsistent all the way through Eglinton. Almost as if they forgot to properly build it out when they're ripping up the road for the LRT, but it looks pretty good here. It's not very wide. Passing might be difficult, but a curb separated bike lane on a major street like this is going to make a huge difference in terms of getting people out and riding. Jelly Bean, $11 super sticker. Jelly Bean, thank you so much. As we head west on Eglinton Avenue East. See what happens to the sidewalk up here. Thank you again, Jellybean, for your support. Yeah, here's where the LRT rises above ground again. Looks like this is roughed in for a bus stop, maybe, where I am. Well, this stream has no choice but to continue for a while because <laughs> I'm a long ass way from the next bus stop. I wanted to hop on a bus and get my butt back to Eglinton. Uh, Bash, Bash Brannigan, I believe there is. I've seen it over there. I'm not sure what exactly the hell this is I'm walking on. Is it a bike lane? Is it a sidewalk? I don't know. I didn't see any signs telling me not to go this way. I missed Virginia S $10 super. I am so sorry, Virginia S. There it is. Wait. Virginia Wedlake, great stream, $10. Sorry about that, Virginia. Thank you, Vivian, CEO with the catch. Sorry guys, sometimes the chat just races through and I missed something. But thank you, Virginia. Where is this leading me to? Any plans for a collab with CJ Hall yet? Not yet. I don't have my single speed up and running yet. But if you're lucky during the day hunt, daytime, you might see some LRT vehicles emerge. 
I believe they are Bombardier built, and I think the Alstoms are being put to use on the Finchwest LRT. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But that will drastically cut down the number of buses here. Yep. Is that the moon or the sun? That's the sun. It looks like we're on Tatooine, doesn't it? What's that? It feels like Star Wars, doesn't it? I think it's all the haze from the Alberta fires, like blocking it out. I thought it was the moon. Oh, it's the sun. Crazy. <laughs> all right. Cyclist <laughs> was asking me if that was the moon or the sun. Either that or it was a very not obvious pickup attempt. But why would you pick someone up if you only saw them from behind? Way to stroke your ego there, dumbass. Well, there's a look at <laughs> The green area on the cross town. And look how disappointing this is. We went from a nice protected bike lane to a painted gutter of a bike lane on Eglinton. And there's so many people that are just gonna nope out of riding on this stretch just because of that massive oversight. Hopefully that's just temporary. There's a look at what she thought might have been the moon. Way, way too bright to be the moon, I would think. And the bike lane over on the other side of the street is painted green, and it also looks just like painted gutter style bike lane. Blue urns to that. The grass reminds you of European LRTs. I guess I'm going to have to edit the title of this one to say Lawrence Don Mills in Eglinton. I didn't know how long it would take me to get down this way. There's still a healthy distance to go though because there's another big Valley to walk through once we get past Leslieville. It's a step count update. 16. Does Ken ever do the suburbs? I don't know. He did Hamilton today. He's uh, struggling to multitask. I think this is the same rail line heads down into Summer Hill. And says I'll hit 20K soon. I don't know if I'm gonna make it that high because as soon as I get home, I'm gonna be putting my feet up.
getting 200k subscribers. Where are we at right now? We are. Eighty-nine thousand eight hundred, and refresh, refresh. Seventy-six. Refresh says I'm not going to put the weight back on. Well, I did eat Burger King for lunch or dinner. Make of that what you will. There's a 34 bus and there's a bus stop coming up. Here comes Wilkett Creek, and this is Leslie Street. So this is what the 54B bus heads north. Space is how much do you weigh now? <laughs> 155. I'm like mid 160 something. I think 166, 167. I've been gaining some back. I've also had a few big drinking nights. All right, so. It might be a while before we hit the next bus stop. Oh well, I guess it's a little too early to be calling it quits. We're not at an hour and 30 yet, so let's keep moving. The good thing about Anglington is buses just come constantly. Look at the rail corridor. So we're going to have an uphill jaunt here. Am I drinking tonight? No. I shall not drink tonight. Down into Wilkett Creek. Do you see what I see? Come on now. Who are the crack addicts who designed this? You have your painted gutter of a bike lane just merging into the sidewalk where. As per the city of Toronto, it is illegal to ride your bike if you're over 14. So just what do you expect people to do? It's bad enough they're super inconsistent on Eglinton. And it goes in and out between a horrible painted gutter and a proper protected, curb protected bike lane. But there, the bike lane just disappears into the sidewalk. It's a bit of a WF or WTF. I think Johnny might take some magic mushrooms tonight. Doubtful.
good to see people in the chat see what I saw. Look at this over here. I guess you're just supposed to continue on your merry way after illegally riding on the sidewalk and get back into a painted gutter on Eglinton. Did anyone with a brain oversee this design? Welcome to Toronto, folks. I guess what they could have done to be cheeky is made that sidewalk a multi-use trail. That still would have meant certain classes of e-bikes and that sort of thing wouldn't be allowed on it. It would have to stay on the road. I don't know. Cycling infrastructure is embarrassing. Montreal has a cycling highway that takes you north to south on the island. Montreal is North America's best example of a city with proper built cycling infrastructure. And even then, it's not that great. It's just head and shoulders above everything else. I am getting a workout. We are heading, heading uphill here. One of these days, I'll have it in me to hoof it all the way back to Midtown. But we are only at Lee Side right now. Johnny, do you have thoughts on Vancouver cycling infrastructure? No. I haven't experienced it firsthand or seen enough online about it. But it's probably better than what we have here. This is just the height of stupidity though, having a painted gutter on a busy road like this. That really should be curb protected like it is in stretches. I don't mean to be overly negative. Hey, there's a HomeSense 2001 audio video, Staples, Marshalls. Look how far it's been to the next bus stop.
So if you're just tuning in, I started at Victoria Park in Lawrence and I went west along Lawrence over to the shops at Don Mills and south down Don Mills to Eglinton. And now we're currently heading west, making our way into the Leaside Side neighborhood. Closer to home, oh yeah, a lot closer to home. Hey, there's a trio of buses that are out of service. And you know what, folks, I think this is gonna be it. I think I'm gonna hang out at this bus stop and hop on the next one and make my merry way to Young and Eglinton. I wanna thank everyone so much for tuning in. Thank you to our new channel members. Thanks to everyone who sent support, super chat, super stickers. Thanks to our mods. Thanks to just all the viewers for hanging out. It was a fun stream, good chat. Don't forget to like, subscribe and all that fun stuff. And again, there might be some very different videos coming up this week, including live streams. I've got a plan. I'll reveal what that plan is later, but it is not like anything I've done on this channel or done ever for that matter. But whoop, my gimbal is calling it quits. Right around the same time I am. Yeah, this gimbal seems to have a weight issue. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks to our mods, thanks to everyone else. Looks like I might need to shave. It's not often you say that. Thanks, Marie Palmer, Clayton Crawford, everyone else. Let me flip the camera back around. Stay safe. I'm not sure when I'll stream again. Maybe tomorrow morning even. But anywho, thanks, Brad Palmer and Aviation of Fun. I will catch you on the next one. Yoink.